Okay, so we've attached the Delrin bearings uh, to the slotted angle. Uh, and um, I actually attempted this once before, and I ran into my first issue with putting this uh, test bed together. Um, and that issue is the screws that come in the VEX kit. So um, if, you, if you look here, this is a regular screw on the right. Uh, it's the 832 screw. And then on the left is the um, screw that fits into the motor, okay? So you might not be aware of that as you read these instructions. As my instructions were not, it wasn't included. There were two types of screws. So just be aware of that as you go forward. Um, and you'll be able to locate these hopefully in your kit. Um, okay, and you can tell because the diameter of them is smaller. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these motors on to the slotted uh, angle here. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and put on the uh, put the motor, sorry, put the drive shaft onto the motor, we'll put the collar on the motor and a spacer, small spacer. Okay, we're going to fit that uh, drive shaft through the Delrin bearing, and then we're going to go ahead and attach the motor onto the Delrin bearing using this, the, uh, the motor, the longer motor screw. Okay, we're just going to get that on first. Okay, get the second uh, second screw on. Okay, and we'll go ahead and sung these up. Okay. Uh, looks like the motor screw also has a uh, use a different size hex head. It uses the 5/64 hex head, whereas the regular screw uses the 3/32 uh, hex head. Okay, so we have these attached. We haven't um, tightened up the collar yet, so let's go ahead and we're going to put that collar right up against the um, the slotted angle there. Uh, tighten that up. Okay, then we're going to do the second one. Okay, so now this one goes kind of the opposite direction here. Um, I'm going to make sure we have that uh, collar up, pointing up towards us. The spacer. Then we're going to go ahead and fit the drive shaft through the Delrin bearing once again. Uh, get our screw in and into the motor. Started in the motor at least. Get our second shorter screw started in the motor. A little easy to cross thread these motor screws here. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and snug everything up. And we're going to go ahead and uh, can't see this very well. I'm just tilting the uh, the um, the collar down here just so I can uh, make sure it's snugged up against the angle, slotted angle. Okay, and I'm going to use the 332nd to go ahead and snug up that last bolt there, or last screw. And 332nd to snug up. Whoop, that was not the right one. Collar again. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, so our motors are onto our slotted angle.